Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. I hope you're having a wonderful and restful weekend. The plan for today's video is actually to get into my wardrobe and start clearing out, getting it all ready for the fall season. I have a couple things I'd like to declutter actually. I, I can think of three things off of the top of my head that I know for sure need to be decluttered from my wardrobe. So that I would go ahead and share that process with you today. I like to do it at the beginning of each season just because I feel like I get a nice fresh start. You can see what I have in my wardrobe and I just wanna have everything on hand and ready to grab as I start putting together all these light layered outfits for fall. But I actually do have a couple of things I wanted to share with you first. I came across some really pretty like special occasion wear that I thought would be fun to share with you in this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you as well. I just, I these are like super girly special occasion dresses. Some of them I feel like would be really pretty for like a fall wedding, even fall photo shoots, like family photo shoots or something. So that is what I have planned for you in this video. Lots going on this weekend. But before I get into everything, if you are new here to my channel, I do have a new video for you every Saturday. If you want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe and then click that notification bell as well. That'll just let you know what time on Saturday my video is going to be up. And honestly, life just gets busy this time of year. So sometimes I'll end up uploading the video either the day before or the day after. So if you have that notification bell on, it'll just let you know as soon as my video is up for you. So these first two dresses are from actually the same brand. One is a mini dress and one is a midi because I know some of you like your minis. Other of us prefer our midis. So I wanted to show a little variation because I think both of them are absolutely stunning. I actually decided to get them both in the same color because I love this pink color. Why would I not go for this pink color? <laughs> I believe the pronunciation of the brand is Charmis. I loved their special occasion options. They have other more like day-to-day -day pieces, but I feel like these ones specifically that I chose from their website are just perfect for a wedding guest dress. So I actually came across this brand on Wolf and Badger. It's like, like one of those websites where you can shop like independent designers. I come across a lot of my favorite brands on there. I actually came across Rugella, that really pretty romantic collection that I shared a couple videos back I came across that brand on there I came across this one too and I just I had to share these pieces with you because they are so feminine elegant and very simple but there's that elegance to them that just really draws me in this is actually my personal favorite from this brand I did try on a couple different styles from them and I really like their their mini styles are actually pretty wearable one of them ended up being a little bit short but this one their midi dress just fit perfectly like it's just everything feels very light on top but still flattering around my waist since you do have the tie around the waist and actually I really like the design of this one because it does have like a little slit on the side where you can slip the tie around your waist so that with the wrap style it just adjusts to your figure as is like it's very flattering on any shape I think wrap dresses are one of those pieces that anybody can get away with and for a medium I was really happy with how it ended up fitting I'm typically a size 8 in dresses now and this one fits perfectly and I felt like the sleeves just added so much elegance aside from the color Color and the the material of the dress and even just the whole wrap style is so elegant but the sleeves just add that beautiful feminine figure just really complements it very well and I feel like it just makes it that special occasion piece I feel like this is something that you would wear to like a fancy afternoon tea even if you wanted to and I don't think that this is just special occasion dress either like I think you could definitely turn this into a work dress I personally like dressing up a lot so I would wear this to work as well like I would feel very comfortable in it just had to point out too that it has ruffles at the bottom which I think just adds to the elegant movement of the dress it just makes it so whimsical and the material just makes it look super expensive as well even like the little puff sleeve at the shoulder is something that I just really appreciate in my pieces the other thing that was just the icing on the cake for me was the gold button detailing at the cuff of the sleeve I just feel like it does so much for the dress and having a button and a cuff in there I think just really adds to the dress makes it look more expensive I keep on saying elegant, but I can't think of a better word to describe it. So this color on the website is actually referred to as the pink powder shade. They also have it available in a mint green, which actually looks like more of like a, a really pretty sage green. And I honestly, I really like the look of that one as well. And then this is the second option. If you're more of a mini dress girl, this is an absolutely stunning dress. I love the unique 
shape of this one because I've never seen a dress in this shape before, but it's very elegant and flattering. And I feel like it's just such an easy style to throw on. It isn't a wrap style, but it comes with extra little things to kind of help you feel more confident in wearing it and feel like it's just not going to move around on you. So it does come with a, a large snappy. I'm talking large secure snap button on the side along with a tie as well. But actually on the inside of the dress, you can actually secure the wrap style from the inside as well just so you have that extra layer of security because I don't know about you but sometimes with wrap style dresses if they don't come with something like kind of already pre-sewn shut or something in there to help me feel a little bit more secure I sometimes am kind of put off by them but these wrap styles are so comfortable and you feel at ease in them and there are some things that I noticed about the dress that I think really help it make you look as flattering as possible. So for example, I actually noticed this at the back of the dress, you have some gathered in material right here. So it just helps the dress lay nicely and the most flattering as possible. And also that gathered in material to kind of make it like a drape off your hips. It just makes it look very, very fancy. And with the tie on the side as well, you can tie that into a knot or a bow. I prefer the bow, of course. But just like that little extra design to it, I think really makes it more special occasion feel. And the best thing about this, in my opinion, is the sleeves because these are actually a little bit more dramatic than the midi dress sleeves, which I love these ones because they come with a little button detailing on the cuff. But this one actually doesn't have the button detailing. It just has the the elastic around the wrist, but it has more material. So you get more of that full sleeve to add more, more to the silhouette of the dress. And honestly, if there's one thing I could change about it, I think I would love it if it, if it did have the button detailing, but the whole silhouette of this dress is just beautiful. I was just very impressed with this brand. I really liked how their pieces are super elegant and at the same time, very wearable. Just that feminine touch that I look for in my dresses as well. So these next couple dresses are actually from Chicwish. So they're very affordable and I was so impressed. I am a little bit skeptical when it comes to formal wear with like more affordable prices because typically, I don't know, and maybe it's just me. I just feel like sometimes they're just, the fabric is super itchy and I just feel like I'm never going to wear it again. Yeah, but these dresses from Chicoish, I am pleasantly surprised. The first dress that I picked out was this one. It's in a nude color, but hold on, hold on. Look at the bow. <laughs> this dress, can you just envision gloves, like opera gloves? throw like a faux fur wrap on top of this and I'm just like oh my goodness what would I wear this to it does help that it has stretch in the dress so it's very comfortable the material is thick and it's soft it has a whole slit down the front now I will say the only thing that I'm probably going to change with this dress is maybe I think it would look really pretty if I added just like a little bit of lace on the slit and add just like a little hint of lace peeking down at the bottom of it. I think that would look really pretty and kind of add a little bit of that romantic element to it. I just was in love with this little bow detail in the front with the beads kind of stitched together to resemble a cute little bow. But at the back of this dress, it does have this really fun detail of these straps. And I was actually thinking like kind of making my own. I was thinking about maybe adding like lace. I'm kind of wanting to get into sewing. I, I think I might actually start teaching myself how to sew. There's like little things I wanna kind of make it my own type of thing, you know, I don't know. Anyways, let's get back to the dress. It does also come with built-in cups. So you do not have to worry about the bra situation. It's just, I love them when that is thought of ahead in the design of the dress. Okay, this next one from Chic Wish, I couldn't help myself. You know, sometimes I just have to go all out girly. Oh my goodness, look at this little ruffle. Oh my goodness, okay. So this is in a size, actually I don't know what size this one is. I, I'm assuming this one is probably a medium. Once again, fits perfectly. Now this one was actually a little bit more snug, but I actually do think it is meant to be more of like those bodycon dresses. But this one is in the design of a one shoulder style. You have the ruffle detailing around the collarbone and around the shoulder, and then you have a long sleeve with a frilly little cuff. Oh my goodness, so girly with the sequins on there. And the sequins on this one, I am 
I don't have a problem with. Now, the only thing I will say with this one is that I was getting really hot in it when I was just trying it on. So I'm thinking this would be better suited for like winter, for like a winter special occasion, just because you have the layer of sequins on top and then a nice thick layer to make sure that you're not itchy from the sequins. I just, I, I was getting very hot in it. So that is something to keep in mind with this one, but I'm actually thinking this might be so cute for like a New Year's Eve photo shoot or something. I don't know. It does have a zipper down the side of it. And it, once again, has the built-in bra so you don't have to worry about that so don't be surprised if you see that dress in a new year's eve photo or something and then these next few dresses from chic wish these are the last two that i want to share with you these kind of remind me of like those bridesmaid dresses so if you are looking for more affordable bridesmaid dress type of thing check out chic wish because they have some really pretty formal wear on there and this one once again is very stretchy oh my goodness it's very comfortable you know what i'm envisioning this styled with is with one of those little bow handbags oh my goodness that would be adorable with those little pleated bows oh, that would look amazing with this dress it's very special occasion and I normally wouldn't go for this color either, but I was drawn to the color. I don't know. I don't have anything like this. And then the last one is actually just a classic black dress. Out of all of them, this was the one that was the most fitted. But I'm thinking like a sequin cape or something as the layer on top of it. That would be amazing. Oh, I gotta dress up every now and then in some of these videos. I love my casual outfits, but every now and then I just like to get a little bit more drama, you know? So I just have one more dress that I think would be really cute for a special occasion. I think this would be really cute for like a family photo shoot or something if you like that very romantic cottage core type of look. But it is from Ivy City. I have shared a couple dresses from Ivy City here before. I love their dresses. I like their price point. I think they have a really good price point on most of their dresses and they have really good sales as well. Ivy City recently did this whole like fairy tale collection. I think it was their fairy tale collection and I saw this dress and I just could not help myself. I had to try it. I've had a couple of you asking me if I could look for some affordable alternatives to Selkie and this is it. This is the most affordable alternative that I've found as of yet to Selkie. I think the price point is really good especially since you are getting quality and I think the design of the dress is very similar. You're still getting some Something slightly different and you're getting a really unique pattern oh my goodness the pattern of this dress is my favorite thing about this dress it is just beautiful I loved the whole silhouette of the dress I think they have a whole collection or whole style of this dress in like their ballerina dress and it's so pretty this one I think is kind of more so for like spring and summer because it does kind of give that like brunch vibe but I was thinking it might look really pretty with like a cape layered on top of it or something like that maybe style with gloves and boots or something I did end up getting this in a size small and it fits perfectly even a little bit big so I would say if you do like this dress size down in it because it does run big it does have the smock material in the back of the dress so you do get a lot of give in the material and I would say like with this one you probably don't want it to be oversized just so that you can get that nice fitted top and then let the sleeves and the drama the tooling a drama at the bottom of the dress to all the talking. Now the one thing that I actually didn't like about this dress that I wanted to mention is actually it does come with like this tooling or kind of like a stiff material underneath the dress and normally this would not bother me and actually I think maybe if I took a steamer to it it would be fine maybe kind of soften up a little bit but I felt like it kind of got a little bit bulky at the back of the dress like it made my butt look big and we don't need any help in that area so <laughs> I felt like it was almost not as flattering as it could have been on me other than that I really liked the dress I did have to leave this little tag on there because I am going to be sending this back the reason I'm sending it back is because I actually own a dress very similar to this. Let me go and show that to you because I did bring it in here with me. It's actually this dress from Love Shack Fancy that I got for my birthday and I just don't feel like I need to have both of these you know I feel like they are different but I just I feel like they're too similar and I know I'm going to reach for this one I don't need both of them but I really wanted to share it with you because I was really excited about this whole collection and you have to go look at their collection because these fairy tale pieces are so pretty and actually I can link several more that I found from Jessica Kay as well they did a whole fairy tale collection too I think it was like a whole I don't know maybe it was like just a thing that everybody was doing but I was seeing all these fairy tale dresses and I was like oh my goodness I have to try this on for everybody but those are my special occasion dresses I wanted to chat with you about I hope you enjoyed all the dressing up today
I'm gonna get into organizing my wardrobe and actually get some work done today and getting my closet ready for fall. So this is my closet space over here. Don't mind the mess, it is quite messy. I really have gotten a little bit out of my normal routine. It's gotten really bad down here, but I just really needed to get everything sorted and reorganized. Everything up here is a mess just because I have been pulling out sweaters and kind of trying to come up with some cute combinations, but as you can see, the result is absolute chaos in my closet. So I need to get this fixed and organized. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything out of my wardrobe and just start from fresh. That way I can go through everything and make sure that there's, if there's anything kind of hidden and not getting worn, I can go ahead and put that on my Poshmark. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I also had to quickly mention, I did go to TJ Maxx and I found this little pumpkin and I wanted to put it on my little Vandy is a little decor set. I just thought it was really cute. So I want to do a little setup to kind of get myself in the fall mood. And I will admit, I do have Harry Potter on in the background. Oh, and I forgot to mention this box. I think I might actually use this box for storage down here. And yeah, I've got lots of plans. I think I'm just going to get right into it and start organizing. That's it for the purse section, but I think I am going to go ahead and get right into the clothes. If I see something that I feel like I just need to go ahead and get rid of, I'm going to do that. And this is my main closet right here where I keep all of my the, my more like daily wear clothes and my main wardrobe, if that makes sense. I do have another little wardrobe that I'll store like my rental pieces and more like big fancy dresses that just wouldn't fit in this closet. It would just take up way too much space, kind of like this one. Um, I like to use this one as like a little display piece, but the rest of them are in a separate wardrobe just because they're so poofy and I don't want them to take up my wardrobe in here. So I'm not actually going to go into that today. I am just going to focus on this over here and get all of these clothes sorted of through today. to mention this um so i did a review on this romantic fashion brand and actually they let me keep this sample this is one of their dresses that i did a review on but they originally wanted me to send this dress back but they allow me to keep it so i still have it in my wardrobe i wanted to mention it just in case you saw it because in the video i mentioned that i would have to send this one back but it's still here and i have some really pretty fall outfits in mind with this just because the the color palette of this is so fall i'm thinking leather trousers and a wool hat or something i have some ideas so i wanted to mention that because I'm just glad I still have this in my wardrobe. I didn't have to send it back, which makes me very happy. Anyway, I need to keep going. <laughs> Oh my goodness now I can see the disaster at the bottom of my wardrobe this is just so embarrassing but I mean we're keeping it real okay so now I can actually see what boots I have for fall oh my goodness I have not seen these boots in forever this is making me so excited oh and these boots oh my goodness I haven't seen these in forever this is just getting me really excited these are hiding in the back of my wardrobe my little tiny space that we have but anyway I need to get these shoes situated and go through them much better. I had quite a um, mess down here, but um, this little corner right here, I'm actually not sure about these two shoes back here. These are like those clogs and I haven't really worn them. I've, I used to be really into them, but I am considering selling these on Poshmark. Just, I don't know. I haven't pulled them out in a while. I tend to go more so for these style of shoes now, um, like the kitten heels this style i wear these so much like these are my most worn shoe we can tell they're definitely starting to get worn yeah and also like little tennis shoes i've been wearing a lot of so i just i feel like these aren't my 
quite my style anymore. I really want to get the wear from these too because they're really comfortable. I think these would look really pretty with maybe like um, like a white lace dress like this or something. But yeah, that is my shoes finally sorted out. I'm going to go ahead and keep on moving on with the clothes. Otherwise, we're just going to be taking too much time to sit and chat. Oh, and I did want to mention I do have these up here, which I have not really... I, if, <laughs> I like these for pictures, but honestly, these really are not all that comfortable. I thought that these would be like a really good dupe for the Low Effler Randall. I don't know if that's how you pronounce the name, but those really fancy, expensive shoes. But I just find with the heel, it's just too much. I really would like a lower heel. And I also have these ridiculous shoes. These are from Dolls Kill, I think. I love these. Like, I use these for pictures or stuff. They're absolutely ridiculous. They're not wearable at all, but I just keep them for picture sake because, I mean... How adorable is that? So I'll just keep these up here, but I think I am gonna go ahead and get rid of these. literally like the second time that I have talked about decluttering this but I think I am gonna go ahead and do it this time. I bought from River Island and I thought for sure I was gonna wear it. I even tried it on in my last declutter video or my organization video for summer. I have not worn this. I'm really really confused because it really is such a pretty dress and I know it fits. I know it's really comfortable. I don't know why I haven't worn it. I I don't know. This one I am definitely going to hold on to because I really love the, the color palette of this dress. I got this from Macy's actually and I love just the whole mini style of it. I think it looks really cute with a cardigan layered on top so I am going to go ahead and hold on to this one. had it for quite a while now but I can't believe I'm saying this but I think I am going to go ahead and declutter this dress because I didn't get anywhere from it. I don't think it's my style anymore. It's kind of like that romantic boho type of look but it's more so boho than I would typically go for now so it's really pretty though because it does have like the soft pink undertone with like the orange and it does kind of have a fall look to it with the the bottom of it it's kind of like that handkerchief style at the bottom with the uneven hem it's really pretty and I'm kind of sad that I'm getting rid of this but I just haven't worn it it deserves to be worn Oh my goodness, this is bringing back all the memories from fall last year. This is, I have some ideas for this dress with like over the boots, maybe a wool beret hat. It has like these velvet polka dots on it. It's so pretty. I'm really excited about this one. It's like that nude color, it's really soft beige. And yeah, I, I really didn't get as much wear as, as I would have liked last year. And I think this fall, I'm going to really make it a point to wear this dress because I'm thinking with tights and maybe a belt. Now I'm remembering, I think the problem I had was that the neckline kind of hit me at a weird spot and I felt like I didn't have the right undergarments to wear with it. So I'm actually thinking maybe if I can find some of that tea stain lace 
I don't know, it just so feels a little more comfortable for me to wear because I feel like the neckline just hit me at a, a weird spot that I just felt like I was always pulling my dress up and stuff and then it would make it too short, you know? So I think if I fix that, I'm so excited about fall. Oh, and I was also looking through some of my sweaters and I remember this sweater from last year and I just never got the wear from it. So I'm hoping this year I will. My closet looks so much better. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. But I did just finish putting the sweaters back in. I didn't declutter any sweaters just because I know I get the wear from these. And these are the ones that I just don't hang up on hangers because they're really um, like really heavy knit sweaters and I just don't want to stretch them on hangers. Aside from this hoodie, this is my travel hoodie. But the rest of them are just like that really thick wool and I just don't want to stretch them on hangers. So I like to stack them up here. And then I did end up putting belts in this box, just kind of like an, an accessory box. Um, I think I might actually move these shoes down to the bottom of my closet just because I want to make sure that I'm reaching for this box. And, you know, I if I have to move those two, it might put me off from reaching for it. I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure that it's easy for me to reach for this box because everything looks super nice in there. And I can actually reach for stuff and have it look nice too because accessories can get kind of messy. So I wanted to kind of tuck it away into a cute little pink box like this. And then this is the rest of my wardrobe nicely organized. I kind of did a color coordination type of thing. But some of the items I just tucked away like all of my spring summer items that I know I'm not going to get any type of layering or wear from in the next couple months I went ahead and just stuffed them away in the back over here just because I know I'm not going to get anywhere from them even now so this section right here is like my white section that I reach for a lot um, and I wanted to make sure that those were easy because I can layer these up during the fall and winter and then I've got my beige section which is definitely growing and then I did have a little bit of a blue section peeking through here and then these are all of my beige sweaters and layering pieces that I know we're gonna get lots of wear and then over here is my little pink section of course actually it's very surprising because this white section is bigger than my pink section which is is good because I do get a lot more wear from white but that just surprised me here I have all of my darker colors like my blacks and deep reds and navy pumpkin sweaters like all that kind of stuff is in this section because that's a small section of my wardrobe and i wanted to have it on this side of my closet just because i know on this side for some reason it's harder to get to stuff on this end but over here it's pretty easy to reach for stuff so that is my closet organized since i have a smaller closet space i do really have to make sure i go through things otherwise it just ends up looking all cluttery like it did at the beginning of the video so i like to have a more focus on the basics but i do have a tendency to get sidetracked with like florals i'm really excited to wear this again i haven't pulled this out in a while i rediscovered a couple things but i want to show you the little pile that i'm going to get rid of as well this is the pile of clothes that i'm going to be getting rid of so this is the first dress that i will be getting rid of this is from lulu's and i've had it for a while my wardrobe I just haven't worn it in the past year or two 
and it's really pretty it's like an off-the-shoulder dress it has a really pretty color palette actually like kind of like almost fall it does hit me at an awkward length just because i'm i since i'm taller sometimes those midi dresses just don't hit me at the most flattering length this is the other dress that i mentioned that i'm going to be putting on my Poshmark. Also this dress I mentioned as well. Um, this has like a really cute little ditzy full print on it, but I actually didn't wear this as much as I thought I would. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. It's like a little top button up, really pretty beige pattern. This is a really pretty top and I love the button detailing on it and everything, but I just have not been reaching for it at all. This is a top from Chic Wish. That I, I really like it, but for some reason, I always feel like it's a muddy blue. Like it's, it, on camera too like it never photographs well for some reason it comes across as kind of muddy and even in person it comes off as kind of like a like yellow blue almost it almost looks like it's stained or something so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one it is really cute but I haven't worn it at all and yeah I, I just don't want it to take up room in my closet these I have mentioned before these are my TJ Maxx wide leg pants that I replaced with my Karen Millen trousers, these white ones that I keep on mentioning. I'm not gonna pull them out. You've seen them over and over, and I have worn these out. I don't even think that these are nice enough to put on my Poshmark. They're just so worn. Maybe somebody might want these. I'll, I'll let my sisters look through them first. And then I also have this that I'm gonna toss as well. This is from, I can't remember where this is from. Since I have this top, oh, Wow, that's a really good catch. Then I also have this top as well, so I don't feel like I need to have three. I think these two are different enough that I can hold on to both of these. I love and wear both of these, but this one has not gotten hardly anywhere, so I feel like I need to go ahead and let this one go. It isn't that really cool, like faux leather. I think it's kind of cool, but I just haven't worn it, so I feel like it needs to go to a new home. I can't remember where I thrifted this, but I thrifted it somewhere. I mean, the print is really pretty. It's like that orange print. It, I feel this might be actually really cute to wear in the fall. I just think there's too much material at the bottom of it that I just don't think I'm going to get the wear from it. So I think I need to go ahead and declutter it. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I feel like I did do a good job of making sure I got rid of some things. I'm making a little bit of room for my sweaters coming in some things that i have my eye on yeah i have to make sure that i'm conscious about the space that i have otherwise i would have clothes everywhere i feel so much better and i feel much more ready for fall now i just feel like doing a little declutter like this can really help me feel like fall is around the corner and just even getting little decorations like this on my vanity is making me so happy. It makes me excited to get my newly rentals too because now I know what to look for and what I might need to kind of get the outfits that I have in mind for fall. That is my closet declutter. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you very soon in my next video.